The various ways of, of advertising a stallion probably starts before we purchase them. Uh, regardless of whether we purchase them prior to their racing career, during their racing career, or upon completion, we're always looking at how marketable that horse will be. It's impossible to know whether a stand's gonna be successful or not. We certainly have all the criteria. Most of the farms are looking at the same kinds of things, but none of us has a uh, crystal ball. So we have to determine whether or not we think people want to use them and can we make a good case to breeders. Once we feel like we can do that, then when he comes to stud, we start going in and breaking out our various tools that we have. In the case of Authentic, all we really needed was a telephone and to make sure we answer it. Breeders uh, have been approaching us and we've been overrun with requests. It was really a fairly easy process. A lot of breeders were trying to line up breedings before we had set a stud fee, before he was retired. There's so much demand they didn't want to be left out, but they wanted to get assurances from our salesmen, from whoever they know here at the farm. Can they rely on him being a good looking horse when they come to see him? Are they going to be happy? That's where the relationships that our salesmen in particular build day in, day out, year in, year out with breeders is so important. There's a really big face-to-face -face component uh, to this that is really almost impossible to, to replace. But again, when you've got a horse like Authentic, it, it certainly makes it a lot easier. When it comes to advertising and marketing stallions, uh, the thoroughbred industry is really relatively small. There's a handful of industry publications that everybody reads, and those are really must-haves in terms of of advertising space. Two other resources that breeders use quite regularly is the Blood Horse Stallion Register. That is sort of the, the phone book or the Bible, if you will. Every, almost every stallion has a page, uh, two pages in there where it'll usually include a photograph and a lot of raw data about his progeny, about his race record, about his pedigree. Another source are the nicking sites. We rely heavily on True Nicks. It is a very, very useful tool, and so it's very important to list our stallions on those sites for when people go to uh, start doing hypothetical matings. They can plug their mare in uh, with any given stallion and see how that mating looks on paper. Are there other examples of that cross that uh, have worked particularly well? Uh, or is there a lack of, of success with that cross? In the past, we've relied heavily on direct mail. Uh, that's something that we still do. Um, the advent of social media uh, has, has made that a more convenient and more economical way uh, to, to get the message to our breeders on a lot of horses. And we, there's so many things that we can do there in terms of pictures and videos. We utilize Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter and even to a lesser extent Pinterest uh, just to try to make sure all of our bases are covered. If you can show people um, a pretty foal by one of your stallions or a great confirmation shot or, or just a great paddock shot um, uh, of a particular stallion, you can, you can really uh, get people to take notice and then you follow that up with the right message. This year with COVID making it more difficult for breeders to get out and see the, all the stallions, um, this was the first year that we chose to do a virtual stallion show and all of our stallions are featured on there. When you've got a good looking horse, as, as most of ours are, um, that can help uh, cement in a breeder's mind that that's the right horse for their mare. Another avenue of advertising that we've taken advantage of is actually in-house produced commercials specific to each stallion. Those are placed oftentimes on TVG and on the Naira broadcasts. One of the most important things that we do here uh, is make our stallions available to breeders for inspection, one-on-one -on -one physical inspection. When you can lead that stallion out of a stall and stand them up in front of a breeder and just let them soak them in, um, uh, that's a great way to make a sale. Uh, and very oftentimes you don't have to talk you could just let them look and, and the horse will sell himself.